I can literally see you guys right now. Hello, hello, hello. It is a Thursday and I am close to a thrift store that I never get the chance to go to. So I thought, why not go to it? So that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna hope for some Valentine cards. That's what I've been saying this whole like past month. Oh, my camera's so bumpy. I will see you at the store. I went straight to the hanging bags because you never know what's gonna be in them. And I found these vintage Simpson movie like cups from 7-Eleven, so cool. And then the cutest little like cat picture frame. How adorable is that? This is a little Valentine bean. How about being Valentine's? Like if someone handed that to me, I think I would cry. Then this was a One Direction kit, but sadly there was only the calendar and the tote bag in there, nothing else, so it definitely was not worth the $10. And then this Furby, that was $20, but it was pretty filthy, so I did not grab it. Also, shout out to you guys who remember Olivia. I read these books growing up, so this was a cute little like jewelry box. Also was tempted to get these candles, they're little like butterfly candles that kind of look like moths, like a mixture of a moth and a butterfly. This was giving like my best friend's bedroom back in middle school. And then they had quite a few um, VHS tapes, not too many that I would want, want, but they had like The Lost World, Liar Liar, which, oh my gosh, I remember the first time I ever watched that. I know the place, I know the time. Um, Legally Blonde, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, classics. Also Sunny with the Chance. I feel like such an underrated Disney Channel um, show. Then some cassette tapes. It's been so long since I found some. I found Backstreet Boys and then um, some other miscellaneous ones, Cher, Elton John. On. I think this one's Enrique Iglesias from 1996, which I didn't even know he made music in the 90s, to be honest. Should probably check that out. I found a Shrek CD, iconic. Arthur's Computer Disaster. I love the cover of that book. A little Valentine, like kind of Where's Waldo type book. SpongeBob. And then this I saw hidden in the plushes. I literally saw like his feet and I was like, that's Donkey. That is Donkey. And then I always check the keychains because some sneaky little fun things tend to be hiding in there. But sadly, nothing fun today and lastly these dancing hamsters okay so first I'm just gonna show I found the cutest little shoes for my nephew because I think this is his size it's gotta be so I got him some because he can grow into them if not then I found some books this is so random how to draw Nintendo heroes and villains pretty sure it is from the 90s I think that's why I got it 2001 okay it's from 2001 and then i got this rugrats book oh brother dill what are you doing dill careful then two cassette tapes so we've got backstreet boys and enrique enrique iglesias from 1996 i don't even recognize this man and then backstreet boys and then i found two shrek items the first one the shrek the shrek the Shrek soundtrack with my favorite song of all time, Like Wow by Leslie Carter. Such a fun bubblegum pop song. And then, look at his eyes. Wait, you can't really see they're closed. They're, they're closed, right? Boom. So I hope this works. It was $6, but if it does work, it'll be worth it. And it is from, yeah, Shrek, not even Shrek 1. Sorry, not Shrek 2, but Shrek 1, and it's from 2007. This is so freaking fun. It's supposed to interact with you. So if I get it to work, I'll definitely show you guys. I just remembered as I was driving that while I was at the thrift store, my dad FaceTimed me and he was at a thrift store and he found Wizards of Waverly Place Valentines. Not me wanting to find Valentines for myself, but he's like the only one who can find them. I've never had Wizards of Waverly Place Valentines. So those are gonna definitely go in like the Valentine packs because those are super, super special. Mm -mm -mm -mm. How cool is that? I'm so excited to see them in person. I literally just found out that we're getting a Wizards of Waverly Place reboot. What is going on? That is so freaking exciting. Right now I'm trying to figure out if we can get Donkey to talk to us. What do we think the first like word is gonna be? Trick, trick. Cool, didn't work. How's it supposed to work? 
It's not working. I didn't realize we were supposed to press this. What's the matter? You never seen the top end donkey before? Is that the only thing it says? Hey, you wanna know the secret to happiness? Rub my belly. That's it. Donkey plus rub belly equals happiness. Is that all it says though? It does sound like something in its head is broken. Because I think the eyes are supposed to like open and close by itself, but clearly it's not. Was this the best purchase I made? No. Is it so cute? Yes. <laughs> okay, I got some more bags from the dollar store and I got these purple ones because I thought why not make a Justin Bieber bundle and put it in a purple bag. So we've got a Justin Bieber His World book. Oh, was that Selena? Nope, Miranda. Then I've got this Justin Bieber Rise to Fame DVD. And look, it still has the two little posters. It's got another one of him. Hi, Justin. So I thought that would be really fun. Then I have this spray can sticker. It's literally Justin Bieber merch from 2010. I also have this Never Say Never like VIP thing. How fun is that? And also Never Say Never wristband. So I thought that would be a cute little $10 bundle. Wait, oh, my flash went on automatically. Okay, I forgot. I also have a necklace. I can put, I have a bracelet and a necklace, but I'm gonna put the necklace in. Oh, they're tangled. Okay, I put the sticker and the necklace in this little bag to make it look more put together. Okay, I'm still putting together some bundles. But my dad just FaceTimed me from a different store and he found so many Valentines. He found a pack, a bag. You know, I was saying in my other video, I wanna find I wanna find a bag with a miscellaneous amount of Valentine cards. He literally just showed me one. It had Scooby ones in it, brats in it. I think there was like Cinderella in it. So we got a good one. And then he got me some newer ones that I'm gonna use for goodie bags, like strawberry shortcake, my little pony, frozen. There was another one too, I don't tinkerbell maybe so like those are gonna be used for my goodie bags because they're newer valentines but still cute but i can't believe he found bratz ones just in time for me to put together some new ones because he found me wizards now i'm gonna have wizards i'm gonna have brats i'm gonna have scooby-doo and then i'll put like i think i still have some more dragon tails and barbie and stuff like that so i'm so excited okay i'm kind of running out of like the good little pet shops that i have so I think I'm going to add a cow, a little butterfly, oh this is cute, a ladybug, an octopus, and one of these like mystical creatures, is that six? One, two, three, four, five, no that's only five. Okay, it's another one. Maybe a monkey? Yeah, that's cute, those ones are cute. Okay, I think I have six in here for the last one. One. This one is so cute. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh, we're having doubles. No. Five. So they have two seahorses and two... Maybe I should switch some out of here then so there's no doubles. Let me let me look. Okay, so I put a seahorse in here, here, and I moved the cow over here. I was going to move a different one, but I realized there's already a monkey in this one too. But this one gets a special two flying creature ones. I mean, if this isn't cute or why, I like that I got... These little patterned bags, they are so cute. They're gonna stand out in the booth. Ooh, I was gonna put, I was gonna put um one of my like business cards in them. Cause I thought that kind of just like made sense. If they don't know, I have like an online shop, you know? So plop, plop, plop. Now we're gonna staple them. This is so fun. 
Like, why is this the best? No, this is, yeah, the Justin Bieber one. So fun. Okay, what other ones can I make? Maybe I can make a Barbie one? Okay, I think this is another little Y2K 90s bundle I'm going to put together. Wait, is this 2000s or... I think the only 90s thing is maybe Bear in the Big Blue House and Pokemon. And this, I think, is 90s. Wait, did Toy Story come out in the 90s? Did Bugs Life... I need to do some research. Toy Story was 95. A Bugs Life was 98. All right, so they're getting a Bear in the Big Blue House DVD, Pokemon book, a Beanie Baby, this little Toy Story mug, which is literally so cute, Heimlich from A Bugs Life, and the best pin of all, Princess Diaries 2. Look at the absolute army of Furbies my dad picked up from Facebook Marketplace. I was like, can you like take a picture of them or a video and send it to me for YouTube? He's like, yeah, let me set them up. And I was like, you don't have to set them up. Like just a little video of them in the bay. He's like, no, I'm going to set them up. And so just like, look how crazy that looks. So excited for those to go in the antique booth. And then surprise, I actually went thrifting again. I found this Harry Potter like poster book that I'm pretty sure I already have in a Harry Potter bundle that's on my Etsy shop. But I think I'm going to move that bundle to the antique mall because all of my mystery bags have sold so exciting so i'm scrambling to make some more so i think i'm just going to use what i have at home and on etsy and just like move it to the booth but anyhow let's get back to the thrifting i found a babar vhs tape this barbie backpack i think from 2013 i'm a hello kitty bag i've been finding like a lot of hello kitty stuff lately i haven't picked any of it up but i hopefully will soon some cutie little squish mallows and then I noticed there was a whole bunch of Scooby-Doo stuff. Like this is a Scrappy-Doo. I'm pretty sure that's his name, right? Scrappy-Doo plush. And then some other Scooby plushes, but all of their dog tags were missing. Surprise, I went thrifting and I didn't even tell you I was going. I found some fun stuff. Definitely somebody donated their whole like Scooby-Doo collection. I found so many books and all of those plushes, but all the plushes had Scooby's like dog tag, not included anymore like they were gone so i didn't get any of the plushes but i got two books we got a golden story from 1999 i've never found a scooby one and it's in really good condition so exciting this book is from 2001 and it's scooby-doo and the cyber chase so and also in really good condition i found a couple other ones but they were like not in good condition okay then i found a whole bunch of these like vegetable plushes they're called veggie friend cds cds and they're from the 90s 1999 this is corny on the cob i think this is my favorite one literally that's so cute then we have what's your name cabby cabbage comment below what one your favorite is um collie collie flower her name's collie Skeeter Squash, Skeeter, and last but not least, Crunchy Celery. They really didn't go very creative with that one. Crunchy Celery could have done better, but yeah. I definitely feel like I've seen this before somewhere. Maybe I played with it in my childhood. And also this, like I definitely had a racetrack just like this growing up. So like, what the heck? Then this cute little incredible snow globe. I've been finding a lot of snow globes lately. A prom frame. These are just like the homecoming ones. Like how fun is that? A Winnie the Pooh wall clock. I love finding cute wall clocks. Honestly, kind of want one for my room. A little ant camp that was just giving me vibes. And I found a spot goes to a party VHS. I've never found a spot VHS yet, so that is new. And also Holly Hobby sealed VHS tape. I love the cover of it. And then I just wanted to show you guys this Simpsons comic on the back. There was a Phineas and Ferb little ad on it, which is so fun. This precious metals like jewelry kit. I think it was, yeah, jewelry making metal kit. Like how fun. And then some cute Disney buckets. I think they're from Disneyland. And then, oh my goodness, something that I've always wanted to find, a Barbie camcorder. This might be the one that came in a set that like plugged into your VCR. I'm not too sure. And then a little Barbie closet. How precious. Okay. Now, I only got three items, but they're pretty fun. My voice, am I good? First, I got Spot Goes to a Party. Let me know if you love Spot. I read Spot books growing up. This is from 1994. Oh my goodness. So we have Spot. And then we have 
a sealed holly hobby now i've never seen holly hobby don't know what it is but it's from 2006 i only got it because it's sealed never before opened and it's super cute i feel like if i knew about this back in the day i probably would really enjoy it and then the best find and something that i honestly have like always been looking for the barbie cam quarter <gasps> i can literally see you guys right now I wish this would work like I turn it on and the light goes on so I mean I'm pretty sure this is fake like I'm pretty sure you you weren't ever supposed to like record stuff or or like this is the one that my cousin had and you could film yourself dancing along to karaoke that might have been it I don't know I don't know but video cam Barbie <laughs> I actually like screamed when I saw this I'm so excited about it. Um, also, in this big bag, I picked up the Valentines my dad got me. So when we get home, we're going to go through them. I think I'm going to go live on TikTok because I didn't show you guys on TikTok what I purchased last. Like when I got that One Direction pillow and stuff. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go home and I'm going to go live on TikTok, show you what I just found, and then go through all the Valentines. And yeah, just party. <laughs> I totally just forgot to film for you guys, but I was on TikTok for like what seemed like forever and we opened all of those Valentines and I'm so sorry that I don't even, I can show you them. They're just kind of like all over the place. I ended up opening the Garfield, the Garfield Valentines from the seventies because I just needed one more card in the packs. So I opened Garfield. In the packs, there were Scooby-Doo, Winnie the Pooh, so many Winnie the Poohs. There was also some of these like Looney Tunes, sci-fi guys, Strawberry Shortcake, other Looney Tunes. So adorable. A lot of Disney princess ones. So I only had a couple foil ones. Oh, they're hard to show you because of the ring light, but we had a couple foil ones. Then we have a whole bunch of these like pink ones with a whole bunch of different Disney princesses. Then we have other pink ones with some other Disney princesses and then some tangled. get tangled up in fun am i right and then also a lot of frozen which is wild that frozen is literally what 10 years old now tell me how and then obviously we have the wizards of waverly place ones which are just literally incredible and then surprisingly look how many we had so many surprise Barbie ones that I had no idea were in there, like literally 40 of them. And then two different kinds of brats. We have these little brats ones, which look at the back, so cute. Finally, we have just regular brats. So if you guys order Valentine cards, you're gonna get brats, Barbie, Disney princess, Scooby-Doo, Winnie the Pooh, like just all the iconic ones. Oh, I forgot to open these on TikTok. I guess we're gonna open them together. Let's open these guys. These ones I can put in. These are so cute. What year? Doesn't say, but they're so cute. Okay, these ones can also go in my packs. They're so cute. I like these guys. 